The movie begins with a young man called Clint Masters burying a ring somewhere under the tree. We are then introduced to a young lady called Grace who is in a jewelry shop where she is admiring some beautiful rings. Her friend called Brooke calls her out and they leave the jeweler. Grace drives home and she is telling us why she loves her hometown including her lovely neighbors. We see Clint buying a house in East Bend where he has come to begin a family clinic. This is the same town that Grace and her family stay. Grace arrives home and we are introduced to her mom called Catherine. Grace is in a hurry because she is having a date with Stuart who was her friend back in college. Her mom helps her find the right dress to wear for the date and she tells her to go and inform her dad that she is going out. Stuart calls and tells her that they meet in the diner because she has a special thing to tell her. On arriving at the diner, she is surprised to see that Stuart is with his friends and is no longer a date. When she asks him about the special thing he had called her for, the guy introduces her fiancé to the friends and tells them that they are engaged. Of course, that hurts Grace and she leaves the diner. Grace arrives home early and her parents ask her what's wrong which she explains to them. The following day, they are playing a game as a family and her young brother called Drew says that he will never get married. Robert asks his father whether there is only one special person that God has designed for one to marry. His father tells him that he should struggle to becoming the person that he wants to his spouse to be and God will bring the right person to him. In the next scene, Catherine goes to her husband in his study room where he is reading the Bible. Jim asks his wife who is supposed to give a daughter in marriage. He shows her the scripture in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 6 that shows that it is the responsible of fathers to give their daughters out in marriage. We are introduced to Brooke who is looking for whereabouts of Clint Masters and she is told that he has relocated to East Bend. Grace goes to get some coffee and she meets Jared whom they had met in the jewelry shop. The man tries to befriend her and finally the girl gives him her number. Grace is busy working on her project for her course and her parents tell her that after she is done they will go to welcome their new neighbor who happens to be Dr. Clint Masters. They have a good time at Clint's house and he tells them he is planning of opening a family clinic in future. Although he is just 28 years, he is doing well as a doctor. Jim tells him that if he has not yet found a good church, he can join them in their church. The following day, Grace goes to her father and tells him about Jared whom she met at the coffee shop. Her father tells her that he needs to meet the guy before she goes out with him. However, Grace doesn't like that idea and she tells his father that she is not a kid anymore. The following day, Jared stops by and Jim sees it as a great opportunity to speak to him after Grace introduced him to her dad. However, the young man was just stopping by to take Grace for a shake. The father agrees and tells them that they should not be late. Jared and Grace had a great time at the cafe while talking on various issues. One day Jared takes Grace out for a hangout and it started raining heavily which made Jared lure her into his house. Grace's parents were worried because it was getting late. However, she finally arrives and runs into her room. She calls her friend, Tessa and tells her that Jared kissed her and she doesn't feel right about it and she feels like she has sinned against God. Although Tessa calls it a minor thing and tells her not to be worried about it, Grace doesn't feel right about it. She also recommends to Grace to go to see her mother who is a therapist. The therapist is so clueless and does not help Grace come out of the confusion she is in rather she encourages her to start a trial marriage and break down some barriers. After seeing that the therapist is just misleading her, she leaves her office. In the next scene, we see Grace confessing to her mother on what happened the night she came late and how she visited the therapist and the counsel she was given. Her mother embraces her and comforts her. They later decide to go and talk to the father to get his counsel and advice. Grace speaks to her father about her relationship with Jared and what has transpired between both of them. Her father tells her that they are ready to protect her from any heartbreaks again. He tells her that as the head of the family, it is his duty to prepare her and give her out in marriage. He gives her a packet of soybeans and tells her that she is trying to look for harvest before she has planted the seeds. He adds that it is her time to serve others, invest on herself, 
and work on relationship with her brothers. Grace is out of the library to get some books to build herself up and Jared runs to her asking her why he is not picking up his calls. She tells him that she cannot be in an intimate relationship before getting married of which Jared is not happy about it and she leaves. Grace locks herself in the room and start reading the books she had borrowed until late night. Grace's friend bumps in Clint Masters and she seems to love him and she texts Grace about it and Grace tells her that she can have him because she is waiting on God for her spouse. A day comes and Clint gathers some courage and goes to Grace's parents asking for their permission to allow him start a relationship that will lead to marriage with their daughter, Grace. The parents agree to his request and gives him a go-ahead and their blessings as long as he does things that are honorable to Grace and to God. Clint takes some flowers to Grace and tells her his intentions and says that her parents have agreed to their relationship. Clint becomes a close family friend and they do things together and enjoy life together with Grace's family. Tessa angrily comes to Grace and calls her a double-crosser since he has taken Clint who she bumped into in the coffee shop. Grace tries to explain to her that she didn't know that it was the same guy but Tessa leaves angrily. In the next scene, Brooke arrives at Jim's house asking for Clint. Clint is surprised to see her and Grace's parents offer her a place to stay in their house. While on the farm, Jim asks Clint to tell him about Brooke. He tells him that they used to be in a relationship after college but his parents encouraged him to be patient and wait on God. He broke up with her and buried the ring. Jim tells him that he is trusting on God to know how to handle the situation because he doesn't want her daughter to be hurt. Clint and Brooke are invited for dinner at Jim's house. As they are all enjoying their meals, Brooke asks Clint how he is liking it being a doctor. Robert asks Brooke what brought her to North Carolina especially in East Bend of which she says that she is there to look for something that she lost and everyone on the table gets quiet. Jim breaks the silence and announces that they are planning on starting harvesting and later organizing a harvest festival for the community. Brooke asks what harvest festival is all about and Catherine and Jim explain it to her. Clint leaves the dinner table to pick his call and Brooke follows him. Clint tells her that he is planning on doing things the right way and he is beginning a new relationship and he leaves. The harvest day comes and Jim's family is in the field harvesting though it is quite tiresome. Immediately, Clint comes with a combined harvester and saves the day. The harvest festival finally arrives and Tessa comes and apologizes to Grace for the misunderstanding and their friendship is restored. Everyone is eating and drinking and enjoying the entire event. Then it comes to shooting competition where everyone shoots. Grace does it so perfectly which makes Brooke get jealous. It is turn for Brooke and she misses the target terribly and excuses herself. She meets with Jared and she tells him that he is there to get his fiancé Clint. They plan on getting Grace in a fix and Brooke lies to Grace that her father is calling her in the barn. Clint senses that something is not going on right but stays behind to watch the shooting competition. At the barn, Grace finds Jared who shows her a necklace but Grace is not interested in it. He starts mishandling Grace and Clint comes right on time and Jared lets Grace go. A fight breaks between the two and Grace's father comes and sends Jared away from his property. He also asks Brooke to leave of which she says she will not until she has what she came there for. Clint says he will handle the situation and Gray starts crying but her father comforts her. Grace decides to write an email to Clint thanking him for defending her and being a man of principle while Clint is unburying the ring he had buried at the beginning of the movie. Jim is taking his family out to the woods for a picnic. Grace is seated alone thinking about Clint and immediately, Clint comes and proposes to her and tells her that it is God that writes the love story. They come to where the family is and Jim is a happy father as Grace shows him the ring. The movie ends with Grace and Clint in their home playing with their daughter. Thanks for watching.